I think he understands Bitcoin. And so, of oh, course, it's, sure. it's very yeah. serendipitous, yeah. right? You know, the ETFs get you, you notice You notice that none of the journalists ever ask uh, Jamie Dimon that question like, hey, you said uh, you wouldn't touch it with a foot, six-foot pole. You know, you think it's garbage, but at the same time, um, you're one of the licensed or whatever, you know, like you're participating in this. Nobody is asking that question. Why not? It's like... Yeah. Because you, you know that's not you don't per, you don't perpetuate the fud that way you don't perpetuate the fud it's a bunch of confusion it is and I also think too that they're gonna rush in it's like Sailor says this uh, and the, the there's a podcast one of my favorite ones it's uh, John Vallis, Reed Love Sailor, Kaysen, and American Hodel Portal Orange I think they were at Sato Chateau Sailor they were in his house. Um, and I think American Hodel asks him, like, when are all the other billionaires coming? And he says, at the time you least expect it and in volume you didn't expect. And so I do think that it's possible, it goes back to like Samson Mao's tweet about this million dollar Bitcoin. It doesn't take a lot of money for that to happen. And going back to if I were a diabolical, evil, sociopathic overlord who had self-interest, you, you allow a bunch of FUD. You allow these FTXs, you allow this crap to happen. You and all your homies gain a position. You allow people to get wrecked buying fucking Dogecoin. And then when you, you take on your position, it's now a million dollars a coin. And how many people get liberated out of poverty into a position where they're now a threat? I don't know how many people have coins. You know, not four billion. So now you have an army of revolutionary people who are empowered to the tune of what, a couple hundred million or something? Like that's not that crazy. But if 4 billion people get liberated from poverty, now you got a real fucking problem on your hands. So it's actually one of my concerns is that the price goes up too fast and not enough people get to wake up to it. But at the same time, once again, this is so beautiful about Bitcoin.